coming live from an Airstream somewhere in Tornado Alley, bringing you the people, places, and stories from the Panhandle to the Red River. This is your Only in Oklahoma show. Medicine Park's got the Park Stomp Bluegrass Festival coming up this weekend, the 14th and the 15th, and we had a chance to talk to Tommy Knowles, our buddy down there, and the event coordinator for Medicine Park, Rodney Whaley. I'm Brett. And I am Harley. Never a shortage of things to do in Medicine Park, it seems. No, there. Hold on, we got a, we got a lull. A little bit of a lull? What? After Park Stomp. Yeah. And after the After Park Stomp Park Stomp. Stomp right. I think we've got a little bit of time before their next huge event. They've got a, a, yeah another huge event coming up, I think, Memorial Day weekend. And then it just kind of takes off after that. They it's just, just nonstop. They're open 24-7 uh, if you get a chance to get down there. But, yeah, we had a chance to talk to the to the guys making it happen. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we've got that coming up. Brett, <laughs> how many times are you going to say that? I don't know. I like it. Brett. Yes. You have been accused of many things on more than one occasion. Yes. Of saying it's that time of the year or it's that season again or it's that time. That time that's almost. Yeah. Yeah. You're close this time. I am. We're getting real close. It's hat time of year. It's hat time of year for me year round. (laughs) So you and I. Yes, both are purveyors of caps. We do like our our lids. We do like a lid. And decorated caps are a popular promotional item for companies, groups, sports teams. Well, and who better than to provide said services than Master Threads? Master Threads can indeed embroider your logo directly on a cap so you get high-quality, long-lasting headgear. But I think more importantly, if you don't have your logo or if your logo is dumpster trash... Right, if it was it, if it looks like a dumpster fire with a snapback on it, <laughs> if you're running into that problem, they can help there too. Master Threads can make the process of getting a new logo easy, mm-hmm. and you can call for a free quote. It's four zero five six seven three thirty seven eighty seven, or you can do the www dot masterthreads dot us. So check them out today, Master Threads. All right, so we're back at it again. Medicine Park kicking it off with a bang this weekend. It's the Park Stomp Bluegrass Festival 2020. It's happening March 14th and 15th. I've got Tommy Knowles and the event coordinator for Medicine Park, Rodney Whaley, on the line. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. For we're having looking us. forward to visiting with you. So, Park Stomp, much different than the Polar Plunge. Where do we start? This thing started probably nine, ten years ago with our former mayor, Dwight Cope. He he really developed these festivals, and Park Stomps turned out to be one of the favorite of, of everybody. They they really look forward to that. It's the kind of Arkansas hillbilly jazz is what I call it, mm-hmm. and other people have different names for it. I'm going to introduce you to our new event coordinator. He's been working right alongside our uh, former mayor, Dwight Cope, who originated these festivals, and his name is Rodney Whaley turn it over to him right now and he's going to fill you on with all the details well rodney welcome to uh to the only no case show it's a it's a pleasure to have you on for sure well thank you it's a pleasure to be here and thank you tommy for for doing what you've done for us and get me in on with these guys so rodney uh i've never been to a bluegrass festival fill me in what uh, what should i expect <laughs> i mean i'll tell you what about I, I think it was nine years ago uh, I said the exact same thing. And a friend of mine, it was a beautiful day, and I was about a half hour away from Medicine Park, and a friend said, man, there's a bluegrass festival going on in Medicine Park. And I said, why not? And I got here, and I couldn't believe. I'd heard bluegrass all my life, but this isn't your grandpa's bluegrass. You know, this is these are this is the younger, newer generation, mostly. It's high-energy, mountain Appalachian, very much bluegrass, very much Americana, and, and rock and more, rockabilly, funk, you name it. and I fell absolutely in love with that that genre. That really led into, over the years, my position now in Medicine Park was that first day at uh, Park Stomp, I believe, nine years ago. So, you know, I, I really can't, when you think of genres of music, I really, honestly and truly, being a music lover of all kinds, I, I can't see a better genre, a better fit 
than bluegrass or as as Tommy refers to it as I can't remember now. Uh, <laughs> I think he said hillbilly jazz. Hillbilly jazz. Like that's that. it. Hillbilly yeah. jazz. I mean, I just feel like the vibe, the energy. It, it's it's just it's such an eclectic sound. I it just fits perfectly. It does. It does. And you know, these are these are younger new mountain hippies. They come with such a energy of their own. Most of these bands know each other and they tour the country with each other off and on throughout other festivals. And so you'll see some of them jump on stage with each other and you might see a five piece band turn into an eight piece band and they all camp out. You know, oh, we have wow. campgrounds here. Anybody can camp out at primitive camping ground. It's, it's walking distance from the stage and they camp out throughout the weekend. And so literally last year there was banjos going well after sunrise and they oh. just, they just from the night before. Wow. Man, that's yeah, a party right a, there, a, man. It's a party. It's a high energy party. We've never had a single issue or single problem at any park stomp with anybody. Everybody just has a really relaxed, good attitude. It's it's a, a peaceful atmosphere. It's one of the things that makes Medicine Park what it is, in my opinion. And it always comes at the perfect time of year, spring. Mm-hmm. You know, when the, the grass is getting greener, the air is getting warmer, the sun's popping out, and everybody feels good anyway. Yeah, the, it looks like the weather is going to be perfect for it. But as far as the the actual event goes how's it set up I, I know you guys have have a couple of places where music can be performed is this going to be multiple stages is it all centrally located can you kind of give us some of that for this festival we have a big stage right in the middle of town if you come into town you cannot miss it the streets will be blocked off there'll be a ton of vendors right there by it and so saturday and sunday that is the official park stomp that the medicine park economic development authority sponsors for the town and that's from 3 o'clock to about 11 both days. But there's other events that just keep popping up. And I'll, I'm going to work backwards. Sunday at 2 o'clock, right in front of the stage, one of our later performers, Willie Carlisle, he's coming from Nebraska. He's playing at 5 o'clock. But at 2 o'clock, he's putting on a workshop. He's a he's just an entertainer, puts on workshops. He's putting on uh, square dancing for left-footed people. Wow. And it's a... It's for the, the crowd to get involved in. It's going to be out, out in the venue area, not up on the stage, crowd participants and things. And then the day before that, Saturday, Sarah Wright, who is born and raised right here in Medicine Park and has played Park Stomp several times, she'll be over at the Park Tavern at 1 o'clock with her guitars and banjos and probably some other friends sitting in with her, just getting the party started early. And then let's back up to Friday night. That park, same Park Tavern is hosting a couple of other bands that are coming from out of town. All same genre, all same friend group. That'll be the Redgrass String Band be headlining that. They're from right here in Oklahoma. Most of but their their members are you know kind of spread out around Oklahoma. But they're going to be opened up by the Whispering Willows, and they're coming all the way from Kansas City. And so it just it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And I just found out two nights ago that two of these bands, the Redgrass String Band and Uncle Cletus and the Little Sinkers, that are playing on Sunday, they're coming in to camp out early. Oh, they're coming cool. in tomorrow. They're they're coming in Wednesday. And so we decided just to throw them together and up at the Park Tavern again. They're bringing a little small sound system just to kind of jam and collaborate and get to know each other. So there'll be music starting Thursday as of right now, and, and who knows, we may even try, try to start something Wednesday. Just stop. You know, I, <laughs> maybe we're partial. You know, like Tommy and I have discussed at length before, growing up, having family in Elgin, spending a lot of time in that in that part of the of Oklahoma there is just something about Medicine Park. It's it, there's, I hate to say words that are corny like magical and something. It, there's there's something about that place that just draws you in. And then when you add on this musical aspect, this peace loving get together, especially right now, the way the world is right, right now. Right. I'm just glad that you guys are having something that's not canceled by coronavirus. <laughs> I'm telling you what, I, I saw that too. Some of these others that were, and I said, absolutely not. Park Stomp is happening, and and you're you're right. I, one of the words I use is a phenomenon. Oh man, um, Medicine Park is a phenomenon. You you feel like you're in a mountain town in Colorado, or up in the the high country of New Mexico or somewhere, and that literally what it is what it is. We are in the mountains of the Wichita Mountains. Right next to the wildlife refuge, the Medicine Creek runs right through. And there's something very serene and, and high energy about this area anyway, even if you don't come to Medicine Park. You'll mm-hmm. feel it in the nature in the mountains. And I'm assuming that that's probably why Medicine Park got its start and began in the first place is because that energy was already here. And, and that's what drew me here for sure and has kept me here. And a lot of my close, dear, lifelong friends I've made here feel the same way. 
And so the things we do here in town just keep capitalizing on that. Well, and I'll tell you this. I stayed up there. Uh, I have a friend who has a uh, cabin up there, and I stayed up there for the weekend of the Polar Plunge. And I can promise you, you know, I've been up there in the afternoon, but never been there at night and never been there early in the morning. You cannot buy a better sunset than the one that happens behind Mount Scott. I mean, there's just something. Oh, we're, we're, we're watching it right now. I'm we're telling you, it, it doesn't, right it really, yeah. and I'm not just saying that. I mean, I mean, Tommy, if you need me to move there and be an ambassador, uh, just put me up somewhere. <laughs> but I mean, I think that it, it, you just, there, I, it just captures something. It, I swear that's where I want to retire. It I is, really and, do. That's, and that's why the town's growing. Everybody that, that's here that moves here for that. They, they feel that way. There's very few that I've met and know that have been here all their life. There are quite, there are some. They're still here, mm-hmm. um, and they are the you know the backbone behind that for sure. But most everybody here is transplants. They've come here for a festival weekend or for a quiet weekend, and fell in love with the place and came back repeatedly and ended up just saying, "Hey, I, I'm going to be more part of this." And and I fall into that category too. You know, it was nine. 10 years ago or so when I first came out and uh, I moved here permanently six years ago at, at my house in town. I lived outside around the lake and some other areas and back and forth. And, and I came here and I said, yeah, this, this is it. This is where I'm putting roots down. Well, we, we absolutely love what you guys have going on down there. Now, as far as food and beverages and that's that type of thing, what do we have going on? Anything special for the weekend? Yep. Of, of, of course. Now, now medicine park is home to several quite a few exceptional restaurants and gift shops and and beyond that are that are open all the time around here but we're going to have dozens of vendors so this is a real festival atmosphere fair type there'll be other food vendors very very unique food vendors coming in uh, they're they're all very different from each other and i've been contact i'm also the vendor coordinator this year so i get to talk to everybody before they come in and and some of the booze some of the things people are bringing, I, I didn't even expect. And that's the first thing I ask whenever I, I get contacted by somebody. I said, what, you know, what's your products? What's, what are you bringing here? And of course, that's what they're passionate about. So they tell me about it. We've got some new ones we never had before, and I'm excited to meet them too. Well, it just sounds like you have got, I mean, you're on a roll uh, in Medicine Park, and you're always, especially this time of year, there's always something different. Maybe not every weekend, but I mean, and sometimes you guys are doing something all week. And it's like you said, Right. Originally, you know, we were looking at 13th, 14th, 15th. Hell, you might be on the 12th. I mean, and when you're doing something like this, you can't hardly say to the, to the, to performers, sorry guys, we're going to have to cut you off. And, you know, there's a noise ordinance. Yeah, I mean, you don't they, do that. If you want to jam till, till the, to, I don't know, the, the early morning, I just love that, man. It's like, it's just like that yeah, Woodstock is, thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, there is a noise ordinance at midnight. And is it really? <laughs> oh, amplified man. music that, the the speakers got to be turned uh, off, okay. but that's when everybody just gathers in a circle, mm-hmm. and, it, and you know, and it just keeps going. And everybody's been really, really respectful over the years too. Some of it is in the campground where people are trying to sleep and what have you. So they move off to certain areas. And I, in years past, some of these bands that are from out of town, they'll end up staying in through Monday and Tuesday afterwards, and just just kind of keep hanging out because the energy is so high, you don't want to let go of it. Yeah. And, and I I feel the same way. I'm the exact same way with it every year. Well, you know, again, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm like Medicine Park's fanboy. I'll be honest <laughs> with you. When I go there, when it's Sunday time, when, you know, you think about going, heading back to work on Monday, it's like, man, you just want to yeah, call in. Yep. You just want to lay in the water and call in. So what is the best way? I know it's free to the, free to the public. Hell, they can find you on Facebook, mm-hmm. but what is the best way to kind of get an I- idea of when things are starting? Is there going to be kind of a closer to, uh, the show telling you when who's going to be on stage when and all that kind of stuff. No, no. the The official site to go to is Medicine Park Event. That's on Facebook. The Medicine Park Event. I've already posted. There's there's a event created for this, and I've posted in the event the exact schedule of when everybody's playing and where. And you scroll down and you can find it. Things are popping up new in that every day. Right. A lot of these entertainers and artists are sending me little videos mm-hmm. from Kansas and Arkansas. They're just 30 seconds they're just they're pumped about coming and excited so they send me little videos to post on there and and gives other people ideas and information about it so medicine park events is is the official one discover medicine park oklahoma mm-hmm. is another that has a, a a somewhat different and overlapping fan base the the 
Gary Gregory does that site does an awesome job. He and I are great friends. We share everything of each other's just about. And so, you know, getting a part of both of them, you're going to get a double whammy. And uh, if you go to Medicine Park events and leave a message, I will respond to you. And who does your artwork? I love that poster, man. I'd love to have that poster hanging up in a frame somewhere. That is so cool. You're not the only one to say that, and those will be available at Park Stump. I got a great friend who jumped on board as a team member this year to do all the artwork. His name is Anthony Fontaine. Wow. He'll be out at Park Stomp with his booth. He's a he's an artist and a graphic artist. He has his own a lot of original designs and T shirts and things. So he's a he's Lone Wolf Print Shop. He'll be right near the stage and he, people can come tell him what they think. But he's got all the artwork done for all the festivals this year. And they're they're beautiful. They're cohesive. They're gonna mm-hmm. look good on the wall together. So you're going to want to come back and get one for the Roots Ball and for Rock in the Park and for Blues Ball as well. Oh, yeah, they look great. Kill, I mean, killing it, we're, man. we're sitting here looking at your website or looking at your Facebook page. These these look great. I mean, yeah, I'm super yeah, he, he absolutely nailed it. He's put so much time into this. He and I were already friends. We've become great close friends yeah. because we've been in such close contact the last few months. He's just been a, a solid team member all around. Uh, he, taking his time to remind me of other things I need to do that really don't involve him either. But he, he's just a, a, a team member. He's going to be on this for a long, long time. He's expressed the blessing it's been to be a part of it as well. So he's he's felt the energy is already starting to creep out, and, and uh, it's already all over town. You can feel it in the air. Cool. Well, Rodney, before we let you go, give us a rundown on anything that we need to know before we head out there, any you know do's and don'ts or – you know, don't forget the sunscreen kind of things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just follow the signs when you come into town. We'll have some of the streets blocked off and, and directions to detour you to the parking area. Medicine Park was not designed for to have this many people, and so parking is somewhat not limited or scarce. It's just unique. And so you follow the signs. You can get, if you have any, any needs, can get kind of shuttled over. It's a, it's a short, short walk, but if you have any, any needs like that, we can have some, some golf carts and vans and things to shuttle people over. And you just follow the crowd and follow the music. When you get here, don't bring an ice chest in because one of our biggest sponsors is Coors. They have that and because of the new liquor laws in Oklahoma. They have it roped off where you have to can't bring certain you know, items into the venue area and out and that kind of thing. But everything you need is here. It is a free festival. You know, bring some pocket change for some, some refreshments and things and also – a little extra for uh, some souvenirs and T-shirts. There's plenty of that stuff to go around, too. All right. Well, burning question, uh, pun intended. What about uh-huh. the Mexican agriculture? Uh, I'm just saying, I'm just <laughs> saying, a lot of people have arthritis. A lot of people have those medical needs. Is that frowned upon? I know you. there, there might be a little smoke shack in town. Is that frowned upon, yes or no? Um, you know, as far as the way I understand it is that if you have a medical card and legal, you know, you can partake in that anywhere that smoking cigarettes is also accepted. This is all outdoor event. The, there's two dispensaries in town, and they are sponsors of ours. And another sponsor that's jumped on board with us is Herbage Magazine. And so they're going to be oh, sharing cool. all of our stuff and putting out their publication here in town and working together really closely for this and especially the festivals to come. So I, it, it's a it's a green-friendly atmosphere as long as you follow the rules and follow the laws you know we do follow under those kind of jurisdictions and things it's not a free for all out in a in a pasture by any means Mm -hmm. but you know the laws the laws are real easy to follow they really are and and you'll be shown how and where and that kind of thing well it's definitely not your grandma's grandma and grandpa's bluegrass festival which Uh, i don't know i don't know there may may not not be anything wrong with that but again rodney you're in great company, Tommy Knowles. You guys are always putting something together. I mean, I can't. I we really can't say enough. I We're mean, super it, impressed. If if we could do the Medicine Park show, we probably would. Uh, I'm just keep that in mind. Keep it in well, mind. Come out here and do a show. I'll, I'll set to. it up. I'll, I'll I'll make it happen. Well, I appreciate again. We both appreciate you guys taking the time out and uh, and rescheduling and kind of jockeying some things together and putting it together for us. Yeah, not a problem. Anytime. I love Medicine Park. I'm telling you right now, I am literally thinking of ways that I can sell everything I own to at least have a piece of property down there. I'm dead serious. I am I am this close to selling all of my VHS tapes. I bet you can get a really <laughs> good deal on the backside. Like not the backside of Medicine right. Park, but, but like the, the backside of that. The backside of right the the not quite 
like I could see maybe the back of the thing with with binoculars, maybe by the loves <laughs> around the down the thing and around the horn. Yeah. yeah, medicine part always something you know. And again, I think it probably comes off like we're just like, oh my god, like they're paying us to promote them. But let's be realistic. Before we were doing this, many weekends, many weekends down there. Putting money into the community without being really aware of what else was going on. You, you think of it as kind of a, it's spring break, it's a Memorial weekend, it's Labor Day weekend, and then you're kind of done after that. But there's right. so many things happening, and they're doing so much to ensure that they have that boomerang well, business. I think more importantly, they're they're really looking hard at ways to improve what they're doing. Mm-hmm. One of the things that, that Rodney was talking about is some of the the parking situations right. and the blocking off the streets, things that you and I had discussed in the past. Mm-hmm. They're actively working to make better. But more importantly, I think they're working really hard to bring fun events to Medicine Park. And I think they're doing a bang up job. Well, and, and not to mention, you know, we did the, the polar plunge, you know, uh, a month or so ago or a, a few months ago. And one thing uh, what I've noticed is, there, it's old. It's young. Everyone. It's it's just a cohesive environment. Everybody kind of doing their own thing. Nobody's, you know, getting in anybody's way. Everybody's friendly. It's just a. There's. I don't. I can't explain the experience. It's just this. I don't know, man. It's just it's unity. Well, I like the the concept of what they're doing. This this park stomp. Mm-hmm. It sounds a little bit like Woodstock. Yeah. But. Honestly, it fits the community. The people are there are so laid back. Oh, yeah. Some of them you gotta you gotta wonder. Are you awake? You like you want to poke them? Like are you? You're so chill. Are you awake? <laughs> you know. But yeah, I, I I can't say enough about it. Tons of fun. And, and, and if you get a chance to get down there, uh, look up Rodney Whaley or, or, or Tommy Knowles. I promise they'll probably buy you a beer or at least tell you where to get one. What else is there? I mean, I don't know. That was kind of creepy, though. We're n- now we're calling people out. Hey, go find Rodney. Go find Rodney. His address <laughs> is in the show notes. <laughs> yeah, his address. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So, speaking of really cool events, you know, a few episodes back, we talked to Rod Janlu with the OKC Pop Culture Con. And we also talked last episode, we've been giving away tickets. We so, what have, do we got? We it's, have two more passes. The, They're all weekend long. Yes. All weekend long passes. It's a two thousand dollar value. It's a twenty million dollar value. You know, it depends. How bad do you want to go? It may be like it may be worth twenty million dollars. We could make a deal. <laughs> but if you want to go, it's pretty simple. We're gonna create a, a portal for them to make your dreams come true. We are not going to create a portal. We are going to put a post on Facebook and a post on Twitter that gives very clear, concise instructions on how you could win or find a portal a portal to hogwarts <laughs> how you can win the weekend passes to the okc popcon yes it is going to be a blast we are going to be there it, well i think you will be there on it, sun on, on sunday. sunday yes i will be there on saturday probably fetching a crustless pbj and green m&ms for a celebrity of some type so <laughs> But anyway, also slip on over to our Facebook page. Tell your friends. Tell your tell everyone about us. For crying out loud, there's a movement happening, and your 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 people aren't even aware. It's the only an OK show. I'm Harley. And I'm Brett, and we're out of here. Peace. That's wacky. I should hear more. Uh, what'd you do? That sounds like garbage, huh? Check, check, check. Damn. Coming in hot. Test one, two. Take a number two. That doesn't help me at all, dude. 50% off in Oklahoma. And right now, I can get 99% off of anything. I could go stay on a cruise ship by myself for the next six months for $13. Isn't that crazy? All you can eat can crab legs. It's wild, man. People are like, I'm canceling my trip. I'm like, Why? shit, I'm, d- <laughs> I'm booking stuff that I don't, <laughs> I don't have any right to do. I can't get the time off for it. No, chill out. Dude, we got to roll. We got shit to do. This has to be edited. 
edited. The show notes have to be written. And we have to post this. Or we do not have time to play. It's almost nine. Okay. You got to get up and go to work in two hours. <laughs> I'm really okay with it. I'm doing great. I'm fine. I don't, <laughs> I don't have to sleep. I sleep when I'm dead, right? <laughs> Party like 1999. I got up this morning and, and the pets looked at me like, what the hell are you doing up? Medicine Park's got a thing happening again this weekend. It's the Medicine Park Stomp. Going the stomp grounds. No. Medicine Park again has the thing again that's the happening that's, again. It's that time of year when they hey, do Harley, the things. You say um too much, but me, again. Again, I awesome. say again. Awesome. I say awesome. Again. You say awesome, I say again. All right? Okay. You usually don't say um a lot. Dude, you were firing them off today. I was under pressure. <laughs> Ding, 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 boom. Three, two, one, let's get it on now. And someone said, you have a license to sell hot dogs. Uh, three, two, one. And hey, welcome to the show. We are headed back to Medicine Park, this time to stomp around hold the on, medicines hold on, and hold parks. On, hold in on, the on, on. Can you yeah. not make it sound like we're going back to the dentist? Going like, back. We're going back to Medicine Park. Here we go again, guys. Waka waka. Three, two, one.